Hello everybody out there that loves the creepy dolls. Ow, I've got a foot cramp, foot cramp. Okay, now that I'm over my foot cramp, um, get on with the video. Uh, now, uh, last video I did was uh, showing you how to make some sharp teeth for your dolls. Um, now, this video I am making, they're sort of like um, dentures or false teeth for dolls. That's sort of what they look like. They're kind of odd, but um, yeah, a bit more detailed in there. Um, you can make the roof of the mouth like that. Uh, and you can add the tongue inside there, which is um, good if you want to have the mouth sort of open, a bit more detail. Um, now these are made out of polymer clay. They are handmade. Um, you can't sort of get these anywhere um, so it's, it, they're easier to make yourself because you can measure measure up for how big you want them and um, yeah so um, before we start the video I'd just like to say a big thank you um, to people that have jumped on board and subscribed to my videos um, I really appreciate it um, yeah I'd like to have some more people jump on board um, so if you like the video, um, you want to see some more of what I do, just uh, hit the subscribe button and like my videos and you can leave a comment. Um, yeah, so just a big thank you. Alright, so let's go on with the video. Okay, so here we go. Making some teeth. Um, back with the beige bowl clay. Get some of that out. Now, um, what we want to do first is make this base on the back of there. So, to do that, Soften the clay up a bit. Um, I just get a blob, flatten it out with my fingers. Like so. And just lay that out like that. Now, of course, it's going to depend on. Um, how big you want these so let's get a knife um, now measure for your doll of course what I like to do is I just like to run this around run the knife around and just make a bit of an oval shape Probably shouldn't be doing it on this table because it's a glass table, a glass work table, but it'll do. And you end up with something like that. I'm just going to be making a small, small one. Now what I like to do is just cut that in half. Oh, cut the foil. Oh well. Sometimes that happens. So I'll just turn this around. So that foil's out of the way. Okay. So, one's going to be your bottom, one's going to be your top. Keep them so they're matching. Like that. Okay, so now we just want to roll out a sausage. And 
don't want it too thick because obviously you've got some on the bottom and the top. Okay, get your sausage, run it around the outside of there. Okay, just cut that and then make that a little bit longer and you do the same for the other side. Okay, so now what you need to do is get um, one of these tools, it's got a little ball on the end, I don't know what it's called but and just drag the inside down so it attaches to what we'll call the, the plate on the bottom. Hopefully you can see that, what I'm doing. I'm just pushing the clay down and just smooth that Smooth that around. Just so it joins to the rest. And we do that also on the outside. I'm just dragging it down so that when we cook it, it um, has a good join. Okay, so you do that for the the bottom one as well. Um, I'll use my crochet tool just because it's got that nice rounded edge on it, and just smooth that all out. inside so you can't see any lines or anything where you've joined it to the plate and we'll do the same for the outside just um, rub that down that's nice and smooth. Hopefully you've seen what I'm doing here.
Okay, so just give that a bit of a push down like that. Make sure the gum's nice and round. Nice and smooth. Just run your finger around it like this. Makes it nice and smooth. I like to make the inside edges here just rounded. Um, when these are put in the oven and they come out and they're cooled, like with the other ones, if you have any um, daggy bits, you can use your knife and trim those okay so that looks pretty good Let's see if I can get a closer up <coughs> a shot of that the pain of having the the sun in there Focusing, am I? Um, yeah, so that's the top or the bottom, doesn't matter. So just do that same exact thing with the other half, and then we'll continue. Okay, so now that both of these have been um, smoothed um, these bases we'll just put aside um, now you can always tell which one you think is going to be the top and which one you think is going to be the bottom this one I'm, I will make the bottom and this one I'm going to make the top so now what we have to do is make the teeth and um, once they're done we will be putting them into the gums and after that's done we will um, be putting them in the oven and we'll see how they come out. Okay so for the teeth what we're going to be doing is Zoom that out a little bit. It's a bit too much. Um, getting our white polymer clay. Okay. What I'm going to do is roll that into a sausage like making sausages. It's just an easy, quick and easy way of doing things. Now, can flatten that out a bit. smooth just like that now what I like to do is try and smooth that down a bit of an angle just a 
little bit. Now, we just cut that. Now remember, these are the bases that we've made with the gums. Um, the teeth we've got to make so they will fit into that. So try and make it as proportional as possible. So there's your two middle teeth and then your other teeth on each side might be a little bit thinner. So we'll just take those pieces off. I'm left with these ones here. So what we want to do is sorry, I just heard a noise, I don't know what it was. So I'll turn this around this way. Now where the gums Uh, where the tooth is, if you can, I hope that's a good angle, um, just cut the, these pieces so we can stick them, makes it easier to stick them in the gums. Now, make sure that they're separated nicely. Now, those middle ones are the front teeth there. So just make sure that they're separate when you shape those. Now teeth next to them I'm going to this is kind of awkward doing it like this but I'm upside down so I might just turn that around. Just remember when these are have been in the oven, we can always fix them up, any daggy bits. Even if they're like, you know, you think they're a little bit too long. You can always trim them down. Canines. Always round them up that way first. Making sure that they're separated, just like that.
Now when it comes to putting these teeth in, you might, when you've done them, you might put them in and think, oh, you know, there's too many teeth there, or they're too big, or something like that. Um, that's okay. You can just cook up some more, or just make the gum bigger, because that's not been cooked yet. Now, for the molars, I like to just make a ball, like that. And just indent that in. Put a couple of little bits. Like that. I might do a few of these. See that from there. Just indenting in the middle, putting some lines in there. Um, you can sort of shape them a little bit. Just like that. If you can get a better look at the top of that. Be a bit better. Okay. So just again, a ball, indenting from the middle, put the lines in that, and then we can sort of shape them however we want them. It's good to make more teeth than you need only because um, they might not fit the way you want them or they might look a bit different. And you, you always have some teeth on hand if you just make more than what you need anyway. So. Just do two more of these. Okay, so there's some teeth there. Now, 
You do the same for the bottom teeth, um, only the, the bottom teeth are smaller, closer together. Um, molars are exactly the same. Um, then once they've been made, pop them into the oven for probably about 15 minutes um, on 130 Celsius. Um, let them harden up, let them cool and then put them into your gums. Um, so I'll go and do that now and then I'll show you how that comes up once. Okay, so here are all my teeth that I've made. Um, that's my top teeth there, my bottom teeth are there. So um, away they go into the oven. Okay, so we've got the teeth here. They've come out of the oven. They're nice and set. Um, we'll get the molars off here. Keep the these teeth on the paper so you know on the foil, sorry, um, so you know where they go. I'll just bring in the gums. So you can get a bit of a look. Okay, there's the gums. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take these teeth off individually. Um, I'm going to work on this one here first because it's going to be the top. So we just take the middle teeth off of the foil. There's one and there's two. That one was stuck. Okay. So just on here I will put two top teeth In the front, just like that. Now these side teeth. Just remember when you're doing this, um, you can make them crooked or, you know, whatever you want to do with those. Make them crooked you can. Once again, I'm working upside down to the camera, so it's a little bit awkward. These teeth are completely different to the ones that I've done in my other set. So we'll just yeah, mold it on there like that. We'll do the molars in a moment. Now, what we'll do is we'll just roll the gum up. Over those teeth. On the inside, don't know if you can see that. We'll just bring 
gum up a bit. I can still see that. Might be an idea just to hold the the teeth a bit, just so you can get those still in their position. Okay, that's looking pretty good. What I might do is just separate these. Once again, cutting on the glass table, not a good idea. Not ideal, but it'll do. Just might be easier for me to work on this a little bit. Yeah. With your ball tool, just push that gum up in between the teeth just like that just push around the teeth so they look like they're in the gums. Okay, I'll just smooth that down just a little bit. So I'm making these these ones different looking to my other ones so on the inside just pull back just a little bit behind the teeth like we've done at the front so the gums in between them This light is not ideal here, but okay. So I'm just going to push the gum up a little bit onto that tooth just before we put the molars in. I don't know if you can see that is how we're looking at the moment. Just give them a bit of a, a push. I've left some gaps in between these ones just so they look a little bit crooked and they're just a little bit weird. You want them scary, not perfect. Unless you're trying to make perfect ones. Um, now we'll get some molars. I'm going to get some small, the smaller molars that I've made. They can go on first. So what we'll do, because these don't have a point to push them down into the gum, just going to make a bit of a hollow for that to sit into. Hopefully that's big enough. Okay, that one's looking pretty good. Just 
just move around the back of that. And smooth around the front here. Just making sure the, the gums up on that. Okay. And we do the same with the other side. Make a, a hollow in the gum. For this tooth. Push that one in a bit. Okay, so we want to put the gum up around the back of it like I did with the other one. Hopefully you're seeing this. I'm not on a a weird angle. Okay, so I just put the gum up around that. Just give it a bit of a smooth off. Okay, I think we can fit another molar in the back here. Make a place for it. Just like that. Make sure the gum's up around it. Smooth that up. That one. One more. Sorry if you can hear my son in the background there. He's playing um, some sort of war game with his friend. does like playing the Xbox with his friends so okay so now that I've done that just go around inside make sure it looks sort of right around the gums um, Because this is the roof of the mouth, um, we'll just try and make a bit of a crease down there and just get your tool and make some grooves, just lightly, not too much. Just sort of makes it a little bit more real, bit a bit of texture in there. Now, if you can see, I'm just going to make some grooves around the teeth, just with this. Just 
just so it's not all straight because your gums aren't straight they've got, got a bit of texture in them and they go around the teeth and sometimes you have bits of gum that sort of bulge out just make it so it looks a little bit realistic Okay, so that's the top teeth that I've done on this one. Um, that's the inside. Hopefully you can see a bit of texture in there. Like I said, once this has um, been put in the oven and it comes out and it's, it's cooled down, you can always get one of these knives and do a little bit of um, shaving off the teeth if you like a um, bit of fixing up because it is very tedious, very small thing to work on now you just do the same thing with the bottom teeth um, and then I will put a tongue you can put a tongue in it like this one Okay, so I'll do the bottom one, um, put them in the oven and let you have a look at how they've come out. Okay, so there's the top teeth. This is the bottom teeth. And I've just finished doing those. Um, before we put them in the oven, I'm just going to make a tongue to go in here. And to do that... We just get a bit more of the beige clay, soften it up a bit. I like to roll it into a ball and just start flattening, flattening it out with my fingers. make it so it's thin enough okay so once that's done, you can put that in the side there. Now you can make that, you know, sticking out however you want. You want it just sort of sitting just like that. that off okay so once again with this one we'll just join make sure that that's joined just like that give it a bit of a smooth off Now, sort of made this this tongue a bit kooky, sticking out of the mouth a little bit. You can do that however you like. Sorry, my finger's in the way. Um, you can do it hanging up over the teeth, however you want to have them. Move that off a bit. Okay, so 
Now that's going to be going into the oven and we'll put those in for probably half an hour um, on 130 Celsius. Um, you put them in for half an hour because um, with the polymer clay on the back um, it does say um, for every 6 mil thick 30 minutes baking time now I don't know whether that's for all polymer clay or just the brand that I use I'm not sure I'm using Montmart make and bake polymer clay um, so yeah if you're using a different polymer clay um, just make sure that you do go off the instructions on the back Okay, I'll go and pop them in the oven and I'll be back. 